Now let's first create a new project. So I'm going to click on a new project here. Um, then we're going to select uh, 2020.3 uh, LTS. Um, if you already have a, a newer version at the moment of watching this video, obviously install a newer version. Then we are going to be selecting URP and just give it the name you want and let's create new project. So here we are uh, in our scene. So I'm going to be importing um, all of the basics first. So let's just look up in Game Creator 2. Then we'll install the uh, core asset, make sure it's all updated, of course, which in my case um, it isn't, and it will be a quick update. So we want, um, want to install Game Creator 2 first. Then once we get to this screen, um, we're going to just click import and we'll have it all. Perfect. So um, once that's installed, um, we'll want to make sure that we install, uh, install all of the uh, currently available modules as well. So all of the official ones. Um, simply as core dependencies and uh, unlike game creator one um, you don't need to install the module itself through the module manager however when it comes to the examples um, we'll need to do that so I'm going to show you that in a bit as well and we'll be using um, most of these examples um, to Perfect, so we've got a startup panel. Uh, nice little reminder that there's actually a sale going on. Um, that's really cool. Um, obviously there's tons uh, that is mentioned here and I'll be fair, some of these are really relevant. So we've got the hub integrated um, with Game Creator 2 into the actual editor itself, which is awesome. We've got the documentation, of course, some tutorials. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see, we've got a couple of settings here. Now, in the next video, when we're going to have a look at the optional um, Easy UGS uh, integration as well, we'll be coming back to this because basically it allows us to uh, save a different way. Um, we've got our variables and well, there's, there's nothing much, uh, nothing much here yet. Um, and a nice way to check if all of the modules are up to date. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to go to um, the install screen here, um, which allows us to uh, install the examples. And I'm simply going to ex install them all. Um, most of the time, it just gives us a, um, you know, an easy uh, head start um, with some of these. Um, and why not take advantage of that? Um, so you have the option to only install uh, certain parts of it. Um, I'm simply installing like all examples. So if you install the upper one, it will install uh, all of the examples. Now you don't need to do that, but it does make uh, life easier, a lot easier. And given that we'll be doing so much already, um, not much of a reason not to, uh, not to make life easier anyway. Perfect, um, and that's all install, uh, all examples installed. Um, so that's uh, pretty much all we need to do. And let's actually tick on that last one as well. Um, there we go. Let's install that too. Let's just have it all. Perfect. Now we'll be um, using some of these um, default setup to build upon simply because you know it gives us a head start it, it makes life easier now we've got um, all of the basics for game creator itself installed um, i'm also going to install um, horse uh, anim set pro i think it's called that yeah there we go now this remains optional, like I did um, mark it as a core asset. However, if you don't want to have any horse riding or think you can find your own approach to this, um, you know, please, please do that. <laughs> please go ahead. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, 
we'll, we will be covering this and we'll make it a part of our system. Um, however, you can obviously uh, skip that um, if you have no, uh, no interest in it. Or if you think you can, uh, you know, you can take a different approach, which is obviously welcome. These are the assets I will use for this series. Um, that doesn't mean you necessarily need, um, you know, these assets. We can use different ones. We can use alternatives. You can use free ones. You can use custom ones. These are just models. They're not necessary. They're not required to follow along with the series at all. They're just um, my choice of preference for this series as they're the best matching. Um, good value for money and incredibly, incredibly complete, um, which is absolutely great. Um, the combination of Fantasy Kingdom together with um, modular Fantasy Hero characters allows us to create a large variety of characters, um, guards, etc., which might be missing um, to some degree in the uh, Fantasy Kingdom one, um, but we can just create uh, prefabs of our own, um, which is absolutely wonderful. So that's it for the basic setup. Again, um, only an incredibly small part of this was a core um, to follow along with the series. Everything optional. Optional means you will still need something, but you can get free alternatives. You can get your own alternatives. Um, you can literally use realistic models. You can follow along with this series um, using um, something entirely different like Infinity PBRs, you know, um, more realistic models it's completely up to you i'm just using these as an example i think they're nice i think they match well all are optional so that's it thanks for watching this first video and i'll see you in the next one